hello everyone so in this video i will be going to execute some sql queries on the oracle server so let's get started our first problem is print title the, of the book along with the issue date of the books which have been issued whose number of copies in library is greater than 2 so for this problem we will be writing our query as select title issue date and isbn from book and we are giving a alias b we are joining the table issued by and we are joining them where they have the same access number and where the ISBN of the book is in now this is a nested query which says select book.isbn from book as b group by ISBN having count star greater than 2 so this query is grouping the book by its ISBN and selecting the uh, books the ISBNs which have the count of greater than 2 so on executing this query we will be getting our output as this the books analytics india and dbms the next problem is print title of the book whose name contains pdf in it so the word pdf could be either at the starting in the middle or at the end so we are writing our query as select title from the book where the title is like percentile pdf percentile this percentile specified that there could be any length of characters before and after it on executing this query, we will be getting our output as encyclopedia. The next problem is write a query to list the subject area and number of copies of every book that is to be acquired by the library. So for this problem, we will be writing our query as select subject area, comma num copies from book and we are joining the table to be acquired and giving a alias PBA and we are joining them where they have the same access number. On executing this query, we will be getting our output as this finance number of copies 1, computer science number of copies 7. The next problem is write a query to display the card number department name of the student members who have number of issued books greater than 2. For this problem, we will be writing our query as select m.card number, comma d dot d name from member as m and we are joining the department where they have the same department code and where the member type is student and where the number of issued books is greater than 2. On executing this query, we will be getting our output as this. The final uh, problem is get staff id and number of books issued by each staff member as num books issue so we have to give alias to this table as do this column as num books issue so for this problem we will be writing our query as select s dot id comma count star and we are giving this column an alias num books issue we are selecting from staff and we are joining the table issued by where they have the where the staff id is equal to issued by dot eid and we are grouping them by s dot id on executing this query, we will be getting our output as this. Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to explain some relational queries performed on the given statement. So let's start with the first statement. Print title of the book along with the issue date of the books which have been issued, whose number of copies in the library is greater than 2. So for this problem, we will be writing our query as this. First we are grouping the book by its ISBN and we are counting all the titles under that ISBN and then we are renaming the output columns as ISBN comma count well. Then we are selecting all the entries that have the count well greater than 2. Now we are performing a natural join between the tables book and issued by and then we are joining it with the with R2 where it's ISBN is equal to R2 ISBN and as the result we are extracting the title issue date and ISBN from R3. In our second problem print title of the book whose name contains PDI in it. So here uh, we are extracting uh, we are selecting all the titles which are like PDI it means which have the word PDI either in the beginning in the middle or at the end so we have specified this percentile signs which means that there could be any length of characters before and after this and we are selecting all the entries like this from book and then we are extracting their title 
from this and storing it as result. In the third problem, write a query to list the subject area and number of copies of every book that is to be acquired by the library. So first we are performing a natural join between book and to be acquired and as the result we are extracting the subject area and number of copies from R1. In the fourth problem, write a query to display the card number department name of the student members who have number of issued books greater than 2. So uh, first we are performing a natural join between the member and department table and then we are extracting all the values which have the member type as student and issued book number greater than 2. And then as the result we are selecting card number and D name from R2 and storing it as result. In the fifth problem, we have asked that get staff ID and number of books issued by each staff member as num books issued. So first we are performing a join between staff and issued by where staff ID is equal to issued by EID and then we are grouping R1 by ID and counting all the SS numbers under that ID and then we are renaming the output columns as ID, comma, num books issued. Thank you. Talking about normalization, in our schema, every relation is in first normal form as there are no composite or multivalued attributes. Further, except for the member relation, every relation is in second normal form and third normal form as there are no partial dependencies or transitive dependencies. Coming to the member relation, here we can see that there are two transitive dependencies. That is, member type functionally determines max duration of issue and duration of grace. Hence, this is not in third normal form. We can break it into these two relations, which now follow the third normal form. 